Hello, everybody, and welcome to week seven of the NDBL. I'm recording this very late, as this week officially ends in about an hour and 45 minutes. But, a lot of problems happen. This week, we are up against Coach Lucky and the Los Angeles Luxrays. Um, but, and Lucky is a very interesting case, because, first of all, they've got the same name as my dog. So I feel like I gotta like them. But they're my enemy, but also they're not my enemy this week. I'll explain why. They are very new at Draft League. Um, we had a coach drop out of the season two weeks ago, and that's when Lucky Luxo, which is their full name, jumped in. I assume it's their given birth name. Um, they jumped in, they were like, hey, I'll take over for you, don't worry. I've just never battled in Draft before. They lost their first week, which can be expected for someone who's never battled in Draft before. And then they won their second, which was really impressive. They got quite lucky, but you can't say, like, they definitely won, and they prepared well for the match. And now this is their third of a match. However, they're not the ones we're up against. We're up against the team that they drafted and chose, but they were too busy to battle this week, so my good friend Host, who you might remember from the RML if you watched that, and I haven't taken down the videos yet, which I know for a fact that I haven't, um, they are a friend of mine, um, and they said, hey, Lucky, I know you can't battle today, I will bear that burden for you. So we're battling Host. That's nice. Host is normally the coach of the New York Yanmas, who are our week 9 opponents. So that's kind of weird. Um, so we're going to be battling Host twice this season, but he's battling our team twice, but we're not battling his team twice. That makes any sense. We are coming off a week six loss, ending our win streak, which is very, very sad. Um, this is a very important match to win because next week we're going up against the number one seed, Flat, and the Bedtime Bidoofs, who have only lost one game this entire season. And we very much need to get at least four wins if we want a shot at playoffs. And currently we are sitting at two with three weeks left. So quickly, let's break down the Lux Rays. They have a Mega Man Electric, a very scary, fast electric type, Garchomp. I'm not even going to explain my Garchomp scary, it's Garchomp. Um, Togekiss, a very scary, powerful, flinching, fairy type. Um, Ferro... Fortress, not Ferrothorn. My handwriting is very terrible and I scribbled this down. Um, great, great rapid spinner. Um, can set up stuff as well, just a scary Pokemon in general. Um, Comfey another solid bulky fairy type, good for healing and stuff. Um, Machamp, that's what that says. Terrifying fighting type, especially with um, Guts, Flame Mob. Guzzlord, my personal favourite Ultra Beast. Um, four times weak to fairy, which is very nice, but can hit like an absolute truck. Kartana, another Ultra Beast. Um, really terrifying with how fast it can move and how hard it can hit. Um, then Electros, interesting Pokemon, can't hit particularly hard has the advantage of it has no weaknesses. Uh, then Celebi is Celebi and finally Alolan Muck and that is it, that is their team. Um, I have drafted six Pokemon, not drafted, chosen six as you can already see on screen. And I'm gonna quickly run through them for this battle. First up is Mega Camerupt Helen. This is their I think third, fourth or fifth week coming. They've arrived quite a bit. Um, sheer Force, as always, I'm carrying Earth Power, Fire Blast. Earth Power and Fire Blast are just for the coverage. Um, they hit things very hard, and that's important. Hidden Power Ice is for Garchomp. It does like 90% of Garchomp's HP, and that's... I want to hurt that thing badly. And finally, Will-O-Wisp is there. Um, like, if I don't know what's coming in, nothing on the team wants to be burned, apart from a champ. I'm going to assume more he's carrying like the Flame Orb or Toxic Orb or something. Um... And you know what, if that thing gets burned, that's on me, I guess. Um, with everything into attack, a little, everything into special attack, a little, why is, why did I put any EVs into attack when they should obviously be into defense? There, there we go, that's better. I'm, I'm going to have to make sure that's good before we get into the match. Next up is Excalibur, the Aegis Slash. Only bought Tide with Mamoswine and Bisharp for the least amount of brings this season and Umbreon. Um, this thing is incredible and I've been underutilizing it. 
Um, I'm carrying sacred. I decided to run a physical set solely so I can run Sacred Sword on the team because Sacred Sword rips through their team. Sacred Sword super effectively hits Fortress, Ghost Lord, Katana, and Alolan Muck. Four Pokemon on their team. I'm gonna work offline showdown. Thank you very much. Um, so I needed to run a physical Ada Slash just so I could do that. Um, Iron Head for regular stuff, Shadow Sink for that priority, and Swords Dance. If I can set up a Swords Dance, I can sweep their team. Kang Life Orb so I can just hit everything like an absolute truck. And everything, it's kind of a bulky mon, but it's meant to hit very hard. Next up is Dredge the Dragalge. Um, This thing, I drafted Poison EMZ as our Z move solely to use on Dragalge, and we've not had a chance to see yet. Um, I'm running Draco Meteor and Sludge Wave just to hit like Garchomp and those fairies, Toxic Spikes, if I could set those up that would be nice, and Flip Time to get a little bit of that priority going. Um, I'm mostly into special attack with a little bit into defense and HP, mostly into HP. Next up is Dex, um, Ganon is not coming this week, Dex is getting another chance at being a hazard removal mon, good luck to you Dex. Um, carrying the expert belt because Dex is an expert. Um, and levitate ability because we need to be able to dodge like the um ground time moves from Garchomp and stuff. I'm carrying Defog, Volt Switch, Shadow Ball, and Hidden Power Ice. Hidden Power Ice with Expert Belt on Garchomp does 96% um, on Hyrule if that thing is plus is like four EVs into special defense. And if I get any chip damage like Stealth Ox off on the ground, that should do enough to it so that Dex can one-shot that thing. We do not have speed because Garchomp is a pseudo-legendary and stupid fast, but hopefully Dex can come in and destroy him. So I was thinking, wait, this might be the first week we don't bring Artemis to the Clefable. That would be crazy. Also incorrect. Artemis showed up this week when I realized that Garchomp's Earthquake one-shotted half of the team I brought. Artemis is coming as a counter to Garchomp, a hardcore Garchomp blockade. Um, leftovers in Magic Guard with Moonblast, Soft Boiled, Fire Blast, and Calm Mind. I need a tank hits from this thing and then murderize it. And that is the only way I win. I need to kill this Garchomp. It ruins me. And the last member of the team is High Ducky the Cresselia. Also carrying the leftovers with Levitate so I can avoid its Earthquake, um, Carmine, Moonless Sub, and Moonlight. So anyway, um, let me see if I can fix my Wi-Fi, and then I'm going to end the battle with Host. Um, we lose this match, we can most likely kiss playoffs goodbye. We win this match, we have a genuine shot at playoffs, because then our boy Host. So right now, um, four out of the eight playoff spots have been taken. So Phoenix is probably gonna grab another one. If Lux if host wins this, the Los Angeles Lux Rays score another. Um and then it's between me, host, Coke Thick Chicken, and AJV. Uh, so five people still have a shot, six people, I held up six fingers, still have a shot at playoffs. There are four spots remaining. Um I'm pretty sure Phoenix is going to get it. So it's really five people vying for three slots. It's not great, but um, I believe in us. I think we can do it. I went into this season having never won a game of draft league in my life, and I thought, you know what? If I can win one match, that's good enough. We've won two, and we're actually looking at making a chance of playoffs. So I'm proud of us so far. Anyway. I'm not into the match. Let's get into it and let's fly flag arms. Okay, everyone. Um, I am very, very terrified for this because host knows that if I if he lost his match this week, so if he successfully beats me here, his odds of playoffs go way up. So he is very into the idea of victory. Which I am as well. So, um, I'm stressed out, and I am very much looking forward to this match. 
I think I'm gonna go ahead. He's bought Fortress. Garchomp is, of course, here. It is terrifying. Um, I'm not seeing a Togekiss, which I kind of want my two Togekiss counters, so that sucks. I'm not seeing a Mega Manetric, so that, that's nice. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and lead with, um, Dredge, because, no, I'm gonna lead with Artemis, because I think Fortress is a very likely lead, um, and anyway, yeah, um, I'm freaking out about this, guys, guys, I'm freaking out, um, okay, so, they're gonna lead with Electros, um, no nicknames, which is disappointing, I don't know what this thing can do to me, so I'm gonna, hmm, I think I'm just gonna Calm Mind here. Okay, so, they go into Muck. That's, that's bad. I'm gonna quickly run calcs. What does Alolan Muck do to me? Let's assume it's a Pursuit Trapper. You know what, because why not? I keep putting in Artemis instead of Clefable. Um, if this thing is running Gunk Shot, it kind of just one-shots... Actually, Gunk Shot's special. No, Gunk Shot is physical. I don't I don't remember. Um, I don't have anything to hit this thing super effective, so I'm going to go into Helen. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, okay, so, my Wi-Fi is not great, so if it does, host is a very patient person, thank you, and they're going to get to poison Helen and do quite a bit there, so, I think I'm going to Mega and just Earth Power this thing, yeah, um, Get it? Ooh, they're gonna miss gunk shot. And I'm gonna one shot the map. Um Yeah, if gunk shot had hit, wait, it did 34%. I lived, but not on much. And they really weakened Helen here. So um they're gonna go back out into Electros. They've probably got like Giga Drain on this thing, don't they? This thing gets Giga Drain. Electros is such a strange Pokemon, but I kind of love it, you know? It's a vibe. I've been hanging out with the new people at school. I've actually been making friends, and I'm very proud of myself for that. I've been making friends at school. Um, what am I looking at? Camera up. I, sh I should monologue about my personal life. And also focus on the battle at hand. Giga Drain does like 25% to me, and that doesn't KO, which is nice. So I think I'm gonna Fire Blast, only does like 31%. I don't know, this thing could be left over, so I think I'm gonna burn it. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna U-turn, which is gonna crit. Who are they gonna U-turn out into? Why would they U-turn here? Oh, they were U-turning. Wait, wait I'm, I'm thinking this too. They're trying to bait a Fire-type move from me. So, if they're trying to bait a Fire-type move... There's only one. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> like... Movie. Um, let's hope this thing is a physical Garchomp. Okay, so, I know this thing outspeeds me. Do I swap out here and just let this thing... If this thing is Dragon Dance we might have a serious problem. Um, I kind of want to go into Clefable. No, wait, I did Hideki to counter this thing, and I don't want him to like, just have an iron head off. So I think I'm going to go into Hideki, and I don't know how much this thing is going to do to me. Iron head does nothing because this thing is burned. That burn is huge. Um, I'm going to Moonblast here. And they're going to switch out into their fortress. That does nothing. Um, I don't know what I do to fortress who is carrying leftovers. 
which is very scary. Um, I think I just swap out here. And I think I go into Helen. Yeah, I go into Helen. I want to keep Artemis as alive as possible. Okay, they're going to set up the stealth box and they're going to heal pretty much back to full. Helen is down to its final. This is Helen's last hurrah, guys. This is Helen's last hurrah in the match. It managed to knock out the muck, which is really great. Um... I think they probably go into Garchomp here, and now they know that Cresselia is my switch in. So I'm going to Hidden Power Ice. Do I? Yeah, I think I am. Um, I'm very scared about Wi-Fi and stuff, but you know what it is, what it is. And I should be able to just wait for Wi-Fi to come back on. Oh, it's still working. Oh, no, it just said it's not. Come on, we connect. Come on. Come on. Oh, they were trying to... Um, okay. I think I want to defog. Yeah. I want to defog with this thing. Um... Yeah. So I'm gonna default, definitely. I don't know what this thing is gonna do. I'm gonna get rid of the rocks. And they're just gonna vault switch into their. What are they gonna vault switch into? I'm really glad he managed to burn that gosh out, and out it comes. So let's do a few calcs really quick. Let's let's play a little calculating game, huh? We got ourselves a Garchomp here. Um, Garchomp. I'm gonna assume it's offensive stealth rock. Up against the only thing we know this thing has is Iron Head. It gets Crunch, right? I'm gonna assume it has that because I feel like that's the only reason it would come in. So Crunch does 89 to 106. But if we assume this thing is burned, because we know for a fact it is. How can we tell if it's burned? Where does it say the burn? How can I put in? It's been burnt! Self Fox Steel Surge, fine work. Um. I can't put in it's been burned? I feel like that's a very important thing to be able to put in. Um, yeah, it definitely outspeeds me. I could just hidden power ice and hope. Because I definitely one shot this thing from this range. I'm really studying the nuances of, let's assume that its attack is dropped to minus two. That's its defense that it just dropped. We're going to ignore that. 53%. I'm going to risk it for the biscuit. Um, and we're going to see if that risk pays off. Um, I feel like this wouldn't take him so long, so our boy might be struggling with his Wi-Fi as well. Oh, because we are too, look, would you look at that? I bet we're both clicking refresh right now. Oh, yep, the Wi-Fi's gone. Well, I'm just going to wait till it comes back on. Um... And hope that it does. My Wi-Fi's been god-awful recently. 
Oh, we, we were just had Garchomp for a second there. And our moves have been reset. I kind of want to swap out now. Um, hmm. If I swap out, I'm going into Artemis, right? Like, we know that that fortress is there switching to us. I'm still going to do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, wait, they left. Um... I don't know when they come back. They crit! They crit! I calced it, and that crit did not matter. And we just lost Dex. That is... painfully annoying. Okay, um... I'm gonna calm mind. See that crunches do nothing to us now. That would not have killed Dex. Um, okay. They're gonna go out into their Electros. I think I'm missing a Moonlight here. No, not Moonlight, Moonblast. Ooh, we got a huge chunk of damage. They're gonna crit us yet again. What is it with these crits? Um, we might be having another Wi-Fi problem. Sorry about the bad connection here, everyone. If it helps, I'm not enjoying it either. Um... Okay, come on. Wi-Fi, you're being overdramatic right now. Oh, look, I can see what's happening. It's a fortress switching. Wait, why did that do nothing? Oh, we move faster than it. That's weird. I have just received a text saying that showdown keep saying that, um, keeps logging host out, so that might be a problem. Um, okay, so, I'm just gonna moonblast this thing, I wanna know how much I can do. I do 27, it does 13. If this thing doesn't have reliable recovery like recover, I can outlast it. And they are going to start setting up on us. Um, how much could they possibly do? We're going to start really lowering their special attack. They're going to set up spikes. Okay, I'm going to set up subbing. Like, I'm going to try to set up on this thing. I've got to set up high ducky for a sweep here. One more hit and this thing's dead. It's going to gyro ball. I am not faded yet. Oh, I watched Corpse Pride for the first time um, tonight. And I loved it, I just want to say. Uh, I thought it was a really great movie. I'm going to Calm Mind. I really enjoyed the film. Um, it's like, I'm trying to watch these five, like, classic animated movies this um, October time and that's one of them. I'm gonna keep trying to calm mind here. I can take out Electros because they know I've turned into too much of a threat. 
Um, I'm going to Moonblast this thing because that's going to do a lot of damage. Um, I don't want to spoil the movie. The five movies I'm going to try to watch this October are Coraline, because that's terrifying. Um, Frank and Weenie, because I haven't seen that. Oh, we're going to get one. Frank and Weenie. Um, Coraline, Frank and Weenie. Corpse Bride. Paranorm, because I haven't... That's the only movie on the list that I know I've definitely seen. And I loved it the first time, and I haven't seen it in years. And the last one is A Nightmare Before Christmas, which is going to be the last one I watch. Because, of course, um... I need to start setting up for January, not um Christmas. Like, I think I'm I think I'm watching that on November on um, either Halloween night. No, Halloween needs to be something like proper scary. These are kids' scary movies that are classics and everyone loves them. But um, I need to watch something like that's proper terrifying. You know? Okay, Cartana's come out. I'm just gonna moonblast it. X is a, our sub's gonna fade. Ooh, we do a lot of damage there. We did quite a bit of damage. X is gonna come out again. Um, well, that's what I assume. I don't know. I'm just gonna Moonblast. They're gonna X is a. Ooh, they do quite a bit. Katana's gonna go down there. Um. I'll come from champ. I'm going to Moonblast this thing because I assume it has like knockoff or something. But I think I can one-shot it with Moonblast. And I can. Wow, because that was fast for some reason. Look at that special defense stat. That's almost a thousand. I think I might... Um, yeah. I think actually we might have just pulled out a victory. Which would be incredible. But again, we'll see. Why if I still have time to crash? I don't know what I'm going to watch. Like, I haven't seen any of the classic slasher horror movies. Like, you know, your Halloween, um, Friday the 13th, Chucky, Nightmare on Elm Street. Like, I feel like those are the big four and I haven't seen any of them. I know they each have like a million sequels and I have no interest in seeing any of the sequels. Like, I want to make movies when I'm older. I'm just going to come out. So is Moonblast. Gosh, goes down. Wow. The other three mons we have do not come out this entire game. Hideki just sweeps. Hideki, very nice. I think that's going to put her at kill leader, but we'll see. I don't know yet. Um, also, if you have any suggestions for great horror movies, like, feel free to say them. Um, because I really like horror movies and... Like, I like horror movies. That's what I'm trying to say. I've watched quite a few this year, Silence of the Lambs, um... I watched the new Babysitter movie when it came out, and a lot of people say it sucks, it's a terrible movie, and probably, objectively, it is. It's also my favourite movie this year, because if, you have, if you're quite young, I wouldn't recommend it, it's incredibly bloody and gross, and it's not at all a nice, well it's a nice movie, um, but it kind of just hits every single point that you got to hit to be a movie that I love. Just motoring around a motorbike. At 11. Like, such a nice person. I should be out at 11. But I can't. Because my government is useless. It's thumbs up screen. Also, I want to go back to doing Let's Play episodes. Like, you know. Um, okay, I'm going to assume host is disconnected. Because... He can't be mourning over the fact that Fortress is about to lose this match for him. This badly. So, this could take a while. Um, But yeah, I watched the first Babysitter film and I liked it. I thought it was a really nice change of pace from the classic horror movie slasher genre. 
but it wasn't like incredible. Then I watched the second one, and it was it was incredible. Yeah, I can safely say it's my favorite horror. Movie. Like, no, Cabin in the Woods is my favorite horror movie. This is my favorite one to come out this year, which is really weird because normally if I have a favorite movie of a genre, like that movie is really hard to change. Like my favorite um, animated movie is Shrek 2, and that's probably never gonna change. My favorite cowboy movie is Magnificent Seven, the original, and that's probably never going to change. But my favorite horror movie, originally it was Predator, because that was the first one I ever watched. Um, then it was The Silence of the Lambs, which I watched for the first time this year. And then it was... Um, then it was... Not Silence of the Lambs, what, what was the one after? Invisible Man. After Silence of the Lambs, there was Invisible Man, which I went to go see, and I actually have a- Okay, they finally swapped in. I actually have a nice story about that. We're gonna get- okay, Finally! That took too long because of power outages. But we got our third win of the league! Yes! Um, all thanks to Hyducky. How many kills did Hyducky get there? Cartana, Garchomp, Fortress, Electros, and I think Machamp as well. So that was five KOs. Incredible job! Um, I should probably say GG. Yeah, they've said it. So, anyway, that's what I'm going to be ending this video. Um, talking about horror movies to end because we didn't have anything else to do. Three of our mons never even came out. Um, Camera Upton and Rotom did exactly what they were brought in to do. Incredible jobs from both of them. Um, next week we are up against the Bedtime Blues. We have really helped our chances at playoffs right now. Because now, um, host is at two and four, and um, we are at three and four. No, host is at two and five. I think. Let me just check on my phone quickly. Um, yeah, host is at two and five, and we are at three and four. So, our chances just went way up. If host loses another match, they're out of playoffs. Um, if we get a win on another match, um, we're into playoffs. No, we're not. We're, we're at three wins. We're going to have to work. If we get two more wins with secured, we're not going to get those two wins. If we beat host in two weeks' time, we get into playoffs. We might have just knocked host out of playoffs by that, though, because... Coach Thick Chicken of the Indian Laps and Fern Apes is going to be at the number 7 seed now, and I think we might have just forced our way into the number 8 seed. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, this was... No, wait. Yeah, who says it 2 and 5 because they lost their match this week. But the Lucky Lux Rays are now at 4 and 3. So they're still ahead of us, but not as well. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a dog tastic day. I'll see you all in the next episode. And this was great. ODF out. Goodbye.